What's up, besties? Today, we're going to get into the viral makeup trend, latte makeup. So if you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and stick around. But first, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and start off this look with a chocolatey brown. This one is from the Bolive Butte Nude Persuasion Palette. If you don't have this palette, you just want to get something that is um, chocolatey brown, um, but not too dark. Um, so yeah, so get you a chocolatey brown and stamp that all over the lid, just slightly above the crease. Um, but not quite at the brow bone, okay? Because that's where we're gonna use our transition shade to blow it out and bring everything, bring everything together and just blend it seamlessly. So if you're not familiar with the latte makeup trend, basically all it is is a bunch of browns, a bunch of mattes, um, makeup that looks somewhat lightweight, but this is my own rendition of it and you know your girl loves a face of full coverage makeup. So yeah, um, but also to we're applying full coverage makeup that does present very natural, very dewy, and very skin-like, okay? So yeah. Once you have that color all stamped and you don't see any patches, then you're ready to blow it out. Um, I'm using the transition color sand in the shade sand from the same palette. I really like this palette because it has all the neutral shades that you pretty much need for soft glam and a, um, a latte makeup look like this. So I'm taking that and I'm taking that from that very end of my eye and I'm putting that all over my brow bone and I'm just going to blow it out and go back and forth using swiping motions to blow this look out. Um, I used a fluffy brush. I believe this one is from Morphe. I'm not sure what the color, um, what, what the color. I'm not sure what the number is because I've had these brushes for so long. They no longer have the, the, uh, the numbers on them. I've had my brushes probably for over five years. So yeah, but um, just take a fluffy brush and yeah. So one thing that I did notice about this palette is that I did have to go back and Put more um, eyeshadow on it and as I'm applying this eyeshadow it is very pigmented and the color is pretty good but it doesn't really stick to um, the lid very much so you kind of have to pack on the eyeshadow so as you can see I'm packing on the eyeshadow and then I'm very lightly just you know um, just blending out the edge and then I'm gonna go back in with my morphe brush to to kind of like blend it all together so that it looks very seamless and we don't have any harsh lines, okay? So for that space right at the brow, you're just gonna take a almost a taupe or a flesh-like shade and just blend it down into the transition shade just to give it you know, a, a more polished look. And then you're just gonna go back with the transition shade, shade and bring it all together. So to make sure that your eyeshadow is very seamless, you're, you're, gonna, do, you're gonna be doing a lot of back and forth um, and blending. And for the inner corner, I took in that same palette, I took the rich, it's almost like a yellow gold. You can take any yellow gold that you want and just stamp it in that inner, inner corner. 
games. Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm on purple rain, Prince and Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting. To prime my face, I used one size to cure the blur and I just put that all over my face. Then I got into the blush, which is from P. Louise in the shade Sun Kissed Mist and I stamped that on my cheekbones. Then I get right into my concealer, which is from LA Girl and I'm using two different shades. Um, one is Fawn and then the other one is Warm Beige for the direct inner eye to get that nice woken up look. Then I'm going to take my Juvia's Place contour stick in the shade Tanisha and I'm going to basically contour my face. Right after that, I'm going to get into the Dior foundation in the shade. In the shade, hold on, 6N. And this foundation smells so good. Um, but basically, I started um, mapping out my face like this to use less product. And it just kind of saves time in a way. Um, so, yeah. And I just found that... Um, yeah, I just kind of liked it better. Sometimes I just like to switch up the technique. So, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So now that everything is all mapped out, I'm gonna go ahead and take my setting spray from MAC, which is the Fix Plus in Rose, and I'm just gonna use that to set my face, which kind of makes everything dry down a little bit better, um, which also creates a more airbrushed finish. And I also like mapping out my face better than layering on products because once again, it definitely gives it a more airbrushed effect and um, it's a little bit more natural, a little less cakey. So yeah, and it just, it really does come out beautifully and more defined. Like you can see the product a lot better, especially when you're using like a liquid um, blush, because sometimes when you put liquid blush on top of, on top of a foundation, it makes it muddy so yeah also too i just want to say um you know you do want to allow the products to dry down a little bit before you just start blending it out because your brush will pick up a lot of the product and for your concealer i always start from the outer edge and blow it out and my blush and concealer will always be the last to get touched just because that's just how i do it um
So to blend out my blush, as you can see, like the blush is dried down a lot. That's how you get the most, um, the most color payoff. And so for the latte makeup look, I used this peachy color because I just felt like it complements my skin very well. And it, it gives like a very, um, like exotic vibe. I'm wearing like curly hair. So the exotic vibe is definitely in order. Okay, period. So, um, yeah. And then, um, to blow out and to blend, to buff out my, um, contour, I'm just using, um, a fluffy brush i forget honestly i don't even know what the name of these brushes are i'm not sure they even sell them anymore i got the morphe brush set from jacqueline hill a, a while ago i'm telling you like almost five years ago so i'm not even sure but i will say that um like when you're doing your makeup it's completely okay to go back with you know like if you're if you've gone in and you're doing your blush but then you see an area where you need to fix it like you need to just be in the habit of doing that like makeup is not just oh um step one step two step three you're always gonna have to go back and like you know blend something out or blow it out or something like that like you know it's a lot of back and forth to perfect the look like if you're a perfectionist that's how you get the result that you really want it's not you're you're not just gonna move on from it you know what i'm saying i hope that's making sense sometimes it's hard for me to explain stuff but yeah So this is actually a prime example of what I was talking about. I already have put on and blended out all the products on my face. However, I'm looking at my face and I'm wanting to look a little more woke. I want my under eye to be a little bit brighter. I love a very, very bright under eye, um, especially because the powder that I use kind of neutralizes it. So yes. And as you can see, I'm letting my concealer dry down as I reapplied it and um, to get the most color payoff because, yeah, so. So, yeah, but look at that finish. Look how seamless everything looks. Like, it looks, you can see, like, the different colors, the different dimensions, but also you can't really tell where it ends or where it begins. And I haven't even put any setting powder on yet, okay? Like, let's start there, baby. Let's talk about it. So we're about to get into setting our under eye, but before we do, um, it's very important to buff out any lines, any fine lines that you might see. Um, to set the under eye, I'm using the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. And um, as I apply, I did kind of go heavy because I was going out this night. So um, usually I don't go this heavy, but I just knew um, that I was going to be taking pictures and et cetera, et cetera. I knew that drinks drinks were had and stuff like that so i just wanted to make sure that i didn't end up looking oily because honestly like when i'm out i completely forget about like touching up and stuff like that but um even when i do my clients makeup like my clients always say like girl like i i slept in my makeup and i wore it the next day because just my application is very like long wear and doable um you know like all you have to do is just you know just touch up with a little bit of powder baby and you you good to go i don't recommend doing that because it's terrible on the face but for the girlies who don't wear makeup on a regular basis you know you know do what you want okay but um yeah so back to setting the under eye i'm just repeating the same steps on the other side um yeah and yeah so i'm taking a powder puff and i'm just um stamping in that powder um 
just you know pushing it in and wherever you put concealer that's where you're going to want to use this translucent powder so it is a pink one but when you apply it to the face it just neutralizes it but it still gives you that light lighter look of looking very awoke and having a, like a very brightened under eye but it also makes the face look one tone it just it just is, it just looks very natural babe the, the results looks for itself okay babe like you just just trust me okay <laughs> So now to set the rest of my face, even where, oh, so that's some, a part that I skipped. So even, um, you're going to want to put that translucent powder on the blush part too. So for the rest of the face, I'm just using the Laura Mercier in medium deep and I'm taking a large powder brush and I'm just basically pushing the powder into my skin and et cetera, et cetera. So later on, um, to buff this out or to kind of like bring everything together i'm gonna use that same powder brush but i'm just gonna use a mineral powder um which is a micro smooth smoothing powder from sephora and i'm just going to basically go all over the go out go all over my face i am getting ahead of myself but yeah so here i'm just basically dusting off that extra powder because i did bake a little and i'm just taking the powder brush and kind of just like smoothing my face all right one thing too baby don't forget that neck area okay because you, you don't want to look like a mask okay you don't want to look like a mask um so don't forget that don't forget that face i mean that neck <laughs> so to super define my contour, I'm taking the same translucent powder that I used to set underneath my eye and I'm just putting it halfway through between my cheekbone and my mouth. Um, I don't like taking it all the way to my to the sides of my mouth because I, I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like that's very harsh. <laughs> so um, a back to the micro, micro smooth, I'm using two different um, shades, but I, actually use the powder brush and I use the micro smooth to brush away that excess um, powder that I use to define the contour but I'm also using the micro smooth to um, set the setting powder if that makes sense I don't know I, this step is like so important because it makes everything melt together once you put once you use your setting spray and I also use that underneath the eye because it smooths out um, any, you know, especially because I baked really hard, it just kind of smooths it out and adds a little more brightness to it. So um, I know it looks really bright on camera, but once I set my face, and even at the beginning of the um, video, like you see that it was not, um, it, it doesn't come off that way. It doesn't come off um, very uh, ghosty, pasty or, pale um i hate i hate you know when you look at pictures and, and you don't look you look like a ghost you know what i mean i feel like i've definitely perfected i found a perfect formula to getting rid of the ghost face okay we are ghost face killers over here we do not we do not we are not about that life okay So to set the blush, I used um, the Sephora um, dual, dual blush in the color Poppy. And I'm just going to stamp that right over where I put the liquid blush at. Um, yeah, super cute, super bronze, orange, um, latte look. <laughs> I do also carry my blush along the bridge of my nose just because I like it. And I saw that Jackie Aina was saying that she likes to just lightly use the less leftover product on the blush brush around where she puts her bronzer at. And I do see the difference. Um, and, and so, yeah, I just added that, that, you know, I just added a little sprinkle, you know, um, you live and you learn or you watch and you learn if you're like me. Um, yeah. 
So to finish off this eye look, I'm taking a black eyeliner. This one is from NYX. And then I'm going to take the bronzer Mocha Mommy and a smudge brush from P. Louise and buff out that black liner. I have really big eyes, so I love to add this because it gives my eyes a very sultry look. So if you have smaller eyes, maybe you can sip, skip this step. Obviously, it's up to you. Um, so after I smudge out the liner with the bronzer, then I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more um, black to just make sure that it has the depth that I need. But then the bronzer gives it the softness that I need. Okay, so it's all about balance. It's all about balance, okay? So if you watch my channel, I kind of use the same products over and over again. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to take a guess at what this highlight is. It's from the MAC Star Dipped Face Compact um, Medium Deep Palette. And I'm just going to guess and say that it is either the Old Darling or the Cloudy Copper. And I like to go... Um, that's not the bridge of my nose, but the tip of my nose um, at the top, you know, where my nose begins and then of the apples of my cheek where most people put their blush. But um, I was watching this. I was watching a while ago the night Naomi Campbell and Jackie Aina collab that they had did on her channel. And I, this is how Naomi Campbell does her blush and her um, highlights. So, yeah, so that's that's what your girl started doing and i love the way it looks it really just brightens up the face because i feel like when you put the blush on the apples of the cheeks sometimes it can look a little clownish so um to set the contour i'm going back into the fenty um a bronzer and mocha mommy and i'm just literally just lightly brushing that to warm up the contour because sometimes contour can be a little um ashy or a little gray um because obviously contour um is meant to produce shadows and I, then i'm just dust, dusting that over any area that i did contour just to warm up my face For my lashes, I'm using lashes from my collection. Um, this, I believe, is in the, I think that was um, Housewife. Anyway, um, I will be relaunching my lashes very soon, so be on the lookout for that. Um, of course, I'm going to give you a video when I do, but yeah, those are my lashes from my collection. I just thought that I would use it for this look to give you guys a preview of what's to come, okay? So yeah, so again, like I said, just applying some mascara before I apply my lashes, and yeah, so we're almost done with this look, okay? If you made it to this part of the video, I just want to remind you to give this this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and then hit that notification bell um, so you don't miss out on any of my new uploads if you're into astrology or into tarot well not really tarot cards but if you're into that kind of stuff i do have a playlist um, with all of those kind of things so go ahead and give it a um check it out look around um if you're into vlog style videos i do have vlog style videos as well but yeah you know this is just a little shameless promotion or whatever but yeah so um yeah <laughs> Don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga songs in this party. I can't even listen to that. It ain't 
So before I get into my lips, um, I'm just going back into my new Persuasion palette. And the name of the gold that I put in my inner eye is called Amber. So yeah, we just putting that, we just putting her in our inner eye, okay? Make it a little bit brighter. Give us a little more bada bing, bada bow, okay? And for my lips, I'm using from the Bow Live Butte collection, um, the brown liner in the shade Brownie Points. I believe it's the only brown liner that they have, but it honestly, it is very versatile. And a lot of brown liners, they're usually very like gray or ashy. This one has a lot of warmth to it. So warmth to it. I'm like, let me practice pronouncing, accentuating, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and then for the, and then for the lip, it's going to be in the shade um, Send Nudes. Honestly, look how pretty that is. Like, that's so natural. Um, so natural, okay? Like, I just, I love, I really love the um, the new shades for lips that they have in their, in their collection. Um, so, yeah, perfect combo. And um, I'm, then I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss on top of that. And that's Soft Life also from the Bow Live Butte collection. I'm just going to pat that on. I don't like getting my brushes dirty, so I'm using my fingers to apply my lips or whatever. So to set my face, I'm using the MAC Fix It Plush. And I'm just spray drenching my face in it. And voila! We have finished the look, and there you have it. That is some latte makeup, okay, baby? It's giving espresso. It's giving um, caramel latte, okay? Caramel latte, um, or it's giving Americano, okay? It's giving, it's giving the whole damn cafe, okay? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Um, like I said, give this some a like. <laughs> Give this video a like and a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.